Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alexander Gonzalez and myself, Jay Yee, will bring you product you never knew you needed. Now, it is hot. And what is the last thing you want to be wearing in hot weather? Pants. For pants, but there's more that could be worse. And Clothes. Yes, yes. And uh, there, there's a huge swath of people that are forced to be dressed in very, very uncomfortable clothes, in very, very high heats for their jobs. And those are suits. Suits suck, especially when it's hot. And suits suck because they are stuffy. You got to button them up really high. To get that tie on so you don't look like dummy and lazy. You got to look buttoned up nice. Um, yeah. Suits are just terrible. And and most of the time you haven't, like, if you're like me and you don't have to wear a suit to work all the time, you know, mm-hmm. you probably haven't worn your suit in a while. Probably was the no, last you thing you ever wear a suit fit for. into it. Yeah. And you do not. <laughs> let me tell you, you do not fit in that suit you bought five years ago <laughs> thinking that was just the only suit you're ever going to own for the rest like, of your I've days. I stopped growing, surely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're not going to talk about suits that you don't fit anymore. We're talking about suits <laughs> that you could wear in heat and not die of fucking cooking inside heat exhaustion. Two layers of fabric <laughs> because you got to have that blazer on. Yeah, sometimes that three suit pieces, doesn't... right? Don't you have the shirt, the vest? Oh, the vest. Yeah. Fuck the vest. That's not part of the summer suit. That's what we're calling this thing anyway. It's called the summer suit. Um, but, <laughs> All right. I'm on board. Uh, when you have a suit on, you you usually have the jacket on as well. So you, we're going to have a line of dress shirts, a line of suits, which are the blazer and the pants, and then um, probably some undershirt action going on. Like we'll sell like some kind of special undershirt um, because like I wear the blazer to hide stuff because that dress shirt, since it's tucked in, it's like it you show everything, man. Like everything's just the muffin, you tuck in that muffin shirt. Yeah, top. It shows just, the chest poking out. There's nothing you could do about it. So we'll we'll have a whole it, this is gonna be like a boutique. You know how there was like have you ever been into like an echo foot store? You know what I mean? Like ECCO, where you walk in, they only have echo shoes and they're like only that brand. Or like yeah, if yeah, you yeah. ever walk into like a uh I don't know. Even something more regular, like a Billabong, like a Billabong store. You walk in and then you got like Billabong on one side and you got Absolutely. like Roxy on the other side. It's just yeah, yeah, Billabong. Yeah. It's going to be kind of like that where you walk in and it's just going to be this brand. And then maybe competitors, if they start coming in, will like kind of promote them because we don't care about the selling other brands. We just want suits to be comfortable in the middle of summer. If other competitors want to join in the fight. We welcome them in with the open arms because we got to normalize this. Why wear the stuffy, thick ass suit? Even if you get a thin blazer, it's still fucking hot. So, so what what would we do to combat this? What what would be would we be using like um, in my head like vents in the armpits and like behind the knees kind of thing? No, I think I think in my head what I picture is in like those old timey like Asian movies or whatever i always see them wearing these like patchy looking like nice clothes but they're like see-through kind of like the jacket see-through the so shirt's like kind of see-through linen, kind of almost like uh cubans wear it too where it's like that linen shirt where it's, it's very nice and breathable yeah it's just super breathable and like you just see right through it is how like thin this fabric is and we'll just have that it's just a Nice button up. Maybe we'll uh, what wove in like a little bit of polyester in there to give it like a little bit of a sheen, you know, like a little bit of a shine to it. It's like, I don't know, 5% polyester throughout the entire shirt. Maybe even silk. Make it a bit fancier if you want to go a little bit upscale with the shirt. But okay, okay. and then it'll be like, yeah, like that, like a thin, I guess it's linen. I, I don't know my cloths very well, uh-huh. but the most see through one you could get possible. Um, blazer, same idea. Super light. It's not gonna be padded and thick like um, normal blazers are. Even if a blazer is thin, it still has like 
a lot of layers to it. This is just going to be like a single jacket layer, super thin. You can see right through it. Um, and so I think the suit also, I think it comes in like not black, but like charcoal. And you could kind of see right through it. And then you wear like whatever color shirt underneath you want. Usually white or off white, maybe like eggshell or like we could get a little bit colorful and add like really soft pastel blue or like a pastel pink or something like that. You know, at the same time, we could just do like also um, black as well. We can have an undershirt that's black if you want to do the black on black on black or it's like the sleek, you know. But I think it's going to look more like, because it's see-through, it's going to look kind of gray. You know what I mean? It's going to be like a really mm-hmm. dark gray. Um, pants, the way I see the pants working is that they are going to be the long pants. And they are going to be the same material. But there's going to be like a short boxer cutoff where like maybe at the knees or something where it, it's like more thick at the top. And then it like. But what about making vents like that you can't see right behind the knee and right there in the groin? Like just that way, like think about an outdoor wedding. If you're standing up and moving, there's ventilation. If you're sitting down and you're not moving, no ventilation and no one can tell. You mean just like it's still darkened, but at those spots, it's a little bit lighter darkened... material. It's yeah, almost yeah. like I it's, see it's much more breathable in those yeah, areas. Yeah, I like it. Um also and think about it. You spend all night dancing at an outdoor wedding and you don't have a swamp in your lap at the end of the night. Yeah. And because this is a whole store just dedicated to our shit, we also have the socks. You got like high socks that are like super breathable. You got the you got the fucking undershirts. Like we have special undershirts that so you don't your nipples don't show through your see-through shirt. Mm-hmm. and they like work with the clothes where it looks natural instead of having like an actual wife beater on or whatever and like you could see the ribbing of the shirt underneath because yeah. it's a partially see-through shirt it'll be like a shirt that's like looks kind of like the material but isn't it's just like a t-shirt that you wear underneath so it doesn't actually show any of your body parts um i also think that you could get those funny little straw hats. <laughs> we'll sell those funny straw hats. And what if we have like a cooling the... handkerchief? That's like mm. a handkerchief that when you take it out, it actually cools you. Like it stays cold for a while. Maybe it has like metal tips or something. I don't know. Or or like a metal woven fabric on the inside, but um, insulating fabric on the outside. So when you put it on your chest, it keeps you cool and you can take it out and put it on your neck. Am I going too far here? Kind of, but maybe it's more like an absorbent towel type of thing. So you could like get it moist. Like Yeah, or at a keep sink. it dry and then that way you can take your sweat off. Yeah, but I think also like you could go to like a sink and just put cold water on it and then like rub it around. It's like quick drying and you just like it dries super quick and then you just put it back in your suit or whatever. Um, I also see like specific underwear that's also super breathable. I see like uh, obviously ties like a tie that's in the same material so it doesn't like mesh if you wear a regular tie with this suit uh and it feels ties. good around your neck maybe like in the way that maybe what if it's a tie that's elastic so like, like it's tie. tight but it's not if like you're talking it'll move with you but it'll still stay tight up here like yeah. a little bit of a less elasticity in it and I do think this is going to be a hard product to sell at first because it is going to look strange at first, people wearing these things. But we just got to normalize it. And then what's the next step after it gets normalized is just get rid of the pants altogether. We'll still sell them. But eventually, we'll just sell shorts, dude. Just suit Start doing shorts, shorts. And just normalize it. And then, like, for, for like, the dress shoes, because it looks funny if you're wearing shorts with the high tops and then you wear dress mm-hmm. shoes underneath that. Maybe it, the dress shoes would be like, I don't know. I guess this is where my thought stops. I guess you would just have to wear ankles or like a the dress shoes. High, high you can sh- make socks. really breathable though. Like they can be super breathable and still yeah, like the out. like the Echo shoes that I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Um, instead of having the high socks, maybe they're like more like lower socks and they're like colorful and like pop to like. Give it a little bit more of a fashion look to it. Um, that being said, yeah, we'll do our own shoe line. We could also do like a um, shoot. I lost my train of thought there. 
Um, it sounds like you were going to introduce a new product, like a new line of something. Yeah, I think I was. Instead of a shoe remember. line, you weren't going to do flip flops, right? Like beach weddings. Oh, like, oh, I remember what I was thinking where like it wasn't anything to add. It was just I know a huge majority of our audience will automatically become 50 and up year old men. And they are going to be wearing like the flip flops <laughs> with this. The relaxed you know I mean? suit. Yeah, we call them the relaxation suits or something. Yeah, yeah. But like it's going to go off with them. But eventually the young ones will pick it up. I will definitely pick one up because I fucking hate how much I sweat. And these are like formal events. And like <laughs> and the I amount of sweat. this is coming from real experience because you just came from a formal event. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I have one coming up too, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, but yeah, it, we would just have to normalize it and have everyone do it. And it, it would be like old times again where like you have your summer suit and then you have your winter suit. And you have Absolutely. your dinner coat and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like it yeah, becomes yeah, yeah. like a thing that you get at the season or wear during the season of. And we'll have fun colors. You know what I mean? Like we'll have the sky blue suit that's like a little bit more pastel noted since it's like the see through theme. And eventually we'll get more bold with our colors. Or and I think we'll have like deeper, darker colors, I think, later on. On the inside of the jackets, we can make it look really dope, you know? Like on the mm -hmm. inside, do crazy patterns and whatnot. Yeah, that you still can't see from the outside somehow. Yes, exactly. Like tie dye um, or something. Or the one concern I have about this suit is pockets and where you're putting your wallet, because it will go against the aesthetic if you have this giant square wallet in your blazer pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you never want to bulge in your slacks either maybe it's just this is strictly a card only or apple pay type of situation are we gonna be lame about it in. maybe they have a satchel that lays flat on your body and you just carry money on you and cards what if what if the inside pockets the inside pockets it's you know how like current suits have like the two layers and then one of the layers is where the pocket is in the inside pocket yeah. Um, what if in this, instead of that, the inside pocket is like a, like a, like a gun holster. You know what I mean? It's like a thin. Oh, so it's strapped to you like a, like a belt kind of thing? Like a. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, it's, I guess kind of more like a suspender thing, but it's like integrated into the blazers where they're like attached. They don't hang down or anything. Like when you flap it open, it'll kind of flap down, but it's attached to the suit. And yeah. so like you put the blazer on and it's like, yeah, these like cloth pouches that fit decent sized things and we'll be like don't put your full fucking wallet in here you're going to a yeah. formal event you, you know bring what an I mean? id carry your... bring 200 dollars, 300 dollars cash yeah and fucking your chill. id and a card and that's all you need yeah. you don't need to bring yeah. your whole set and caboodle you know what i mean you just carry that and then that's what goes in this tiny little pocket a exactly you, know you need I mean? to fucking chill you're going to a wedding you leave the other shit in the car yeah it's also 115 degrees outside you don't need to carry yeah. extra weight on you right now no nope. just enjoy the breathable suit your summer suit that, that comes now. with a free pair of sunglasses <laughs> with every purchase we'll make a sponsor with rainbow as well and we'll sell rainbows in the, in the oh shop. that'd be the best that would be the best um what else could be oh and and i i also see that eventually we can start adding like women's clothing in there like summer dresses and stuff like that and then There's maybe like bra already pretty stuff. it's pretty breathable but or we could I think define we could, it in our own style i guess like the way just to like works. match the match the summer suit you know what i mean mm -hmm, like something mm -hmm. that matches the same fashion style as the suit gives you know okay yeah yeah, yeah. all I right like well shit i know anyone Everybody, <laughs> everyone fucking, and everybody. This is a great H &M, idea. H and M, Forever Twenty One, maybe not Forever Forever Twenty One. No, H and M, you're gonna straight up do drop. You're gonna drop something, bend over, and it's gonna rip. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking with Forever Twenty One. <laughs> you put this in the wash, it's totally just destroyed. So I guess maybe more like Nordstrom's, Macy's. I don't know. Fucking someone step up to the plate. Someone, like I said, anybody, please. 
make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions for products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at appoundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the AppPound family, come find us at patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen. Gets your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's idea. We're revolutionizing the trading card shop industry. Oh, I should have seen that one coming. You really should have. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good one, guys. I don't think I'm going to forget it. We'll see at the beginning of the we next We will see episode. at the beginning, won't we? After, yeah. I was going to try to put We Are Not Game Devs in there creatively, but it didn't work out. I was just going to be right on the news nose of like, after the We Are Not Game Devs podcast.